Good day, members. I am Marlene saunders Sobers, Chair of the Nomination Committee, and it is my pleasure to present the report of the Nominations Committee to the membership of the UWICU Credit Union Cooperative Society for the period of 2023-2024. Introduction, the Board of the Directors of the UWICU Credit Union Cooperative Society Limited appointed the following individuals to the nominating committee at its December 12, 2023 meeting in accordance with Bylaw 35. The membership of the committee is as follows. Ms. Marlene Saunders Sobers, Chair. Mr. Marlon Caesar, Member. Mrs. Katian Hogan, Member. Mr. Marlon Samson, Member. And Father Steve West, Member. A note of appreciation. On behalf of the board and management, staff, and the membership of the UWI Credit Union, I wish to extend heartfelt gratitude to the former chairman of the Nominations Committee, Dr. David Dolly, who has served in this capacity since 2016. Objective of the committee. The nomination process officially commenced on December 13, 2023, with the invitation for nominations published in the print media, email, UWICU's website, and its social media pages. The nominating committee is responsible for reviewing all nominations received for the upcoming election of the Board of Directors, Supervisory, and Credit Committees. The committee is therefore tasked to ensure that all candidates meet the necessary criteria to serve on the Board of Directors and Statutory Committee. They will also conduct interviews with potential candidates to assess their suitability for the positions. The objective of the committee is to present a slate of qualified candidates to the membership for its consideration and vote at the 57th Annual General Meeting. At its meeting on February 15, 2024, the committee examined the following 18 nomination applications. There were five applications for the Board of Directors, eight for the Supervisory Committee, and five for the Credit Committee. All members who applied to be elected to the Board of Directors and the Supervisory and Credit Committees had their applications assessed by the committee, which affirmed the following. One, all applicants were fully compliant and financially sound. Two, unfortunately, one application was incomplete and could not be reviewed or further considered. And three, subsequent to the interviews, one applicant indicated she wished to withdraw from the process. The committee began the process of scheduling interviews with the candidates to further evaluate their suitability for the positions. The goal was to ensure that the Board of Directors and the Supervisory and Credit Statutory Committees were composed of individuals, would bring diverse perspectives and expertise to guide the organization towards its strategic goals. The following table would indicate the vacancies of the nominees received for the Board of Directors. The Board of Directors, there were five nominees, Ms. Natasha Grant, Mr. Roger John, Mr. Dorin Manzano, Ms. Heather Woodruff, and Mrs. Judith Wright. For the Supervisory Committee, there were five nominees, Mr. Camu Osborne, Dr. Julia Jones, Mr. George Panda, Mrs. Donna Rosales Gray, and Ms. Hedy Tanier. For the Credit Committee, there were seven applicants, Mrs. Tanya Bernard, Mrs. Joanne McCarter, Mr. Kevin Pascal, Mr. Keila Tellisford, Ms. Makisha Thomas, and Ms. Melrose Yearwood. During the period February 26, the 27th and 29th, the nomination committee conducted 17 virtual interviews via the Zoom platform with the above listed applicants. The committee wishes to report that all applicants met the requirements for the positions they were seeking. The committee carefully evaluated each candidate's experience 
skills and commitment to the credit union's mission before making their final decision. The membership can rest assured that the individuals elected have been thoroughly vetted and well suited to carry out their responsibilities effectively if elected with adequate orientation and training and mentoring. Following the recommendations the committee made. One, to review the terms of reference of the nomination committee to align with the bylaws. This recommendation outlined in this report aim to improve the effectiveness and functionality of the nomination committee by reviewing and aligning the terms of reference to the committee's role as defined by the bylaws. It is suggested that the committee be appointed at the beginning of a new term to align with the TOR as to allow sufficient time to undertake its mandate and carry out its duties with clarity and efficiency. Two, the following section describes particular strategies and activities that will enhance succession planning, growth, and continuity for the UWICU while optimizing the committee's functions. One, the importance of, on, of onboarding and continuous training for new and potential nominees to ensure they are well prepared for their roles on the board of directors and statutory committees. Two, the significance of skills assessment and gap analysis in determining the necessary expertise needed within the credit union leadership. Three, the need to assess any areas needing improvement through targeted training and programs for appointees. Four, exploring the idea of reinstituting a youth arm within the credit union. This is based on feedback from interviews with nominees from the various committees. The committee noted that the average age of nominees to the board of directors, supervisory and credit committees were 54 years, 57 years and 41 years respectively. The committee believes that establishing a youth arm could help bring fresh perspectives and ideas to the organization. Considering strategies for improving vetting and due diligence for nominees as UWICU membership expands beyond just university affiliates. The nomination committee in closing would like to express their gratitude to the credit union for the trust that they have put in us to carry out this significant responsibility. We would also like to express our gratitude to the board of directors and management, as well as the candidates themselves for their cooperation. Thank you.